Look at this photograph. <laughs> That's what I think of when I see this. <laughs> Every time I do it makes me laugh. <laughs> if anyone listening to this hasn't thought that before, now, now they, they will. Do. I'm Josh Hour. I'm Jared Atherton. And we are Chapters. Okay, first song, Chapter 6. The way I remember it, you had a new song idea, and I came over to the studio and we were working on stuff. You grabbed your acoustic and just played some of this. Most of the song was just these two chords. That's right. And, and I loved it. I like the idea of me having a quote unquote new song, but it's just two chords. Mm-hmm. J- hey, Jared, check this out. <laughs> and you well, being like, wow, that's that's amazing. Two things I loved right off the bat, even before you started singing the lyrics and melody and all that. The tuning is super wacky. Unusual, but you played it with a light pick and it's just got that big full kind of thing. Yeah. The other thing is the timing. One, two, three, four, one, two. So I actually wrote this one on piano, which I don't really play. But I had the melody. Da, 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 I was like, okay, what time signature is that? And then I had the two chords, which I wanted. That's in basically 6-4. And then that chorus kind of jumps from 6-4 to 4-4, four, four, back to 6-4, and then back to 4-4. Four, four. And so it's it's kind of a disaster on paper. Mm-hmm. But you don't you don't really hear it or think about it. The idea of writing around a melody, yeah. not writing a melody around a Lyrics rhythm or, yeah, section. Sure, sure. sure. I'm not a fan of like math rock where you have to like count in order to understand it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? So I thought if I can let that melody do its thing and get stuck in your head, but also keep just a really simple, you know, then you're thinking about that and not thinking, dun, 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 you know, like, yeah, it doesn't feel like different time signatures anymore. Yeah. And you put a kick drum underneath it, it all works. <clears throat> The rhythms and the intervals of that melody are so fun. They're so good. It's a perfect opening line to a new chapter. The point of releasing different chapters is to take a snapshot of life in that season. So coming out of everything that we've come out of the last couple years, um, so quickly, what's the story all right. to get to the point where you're feeling like yourself again? Right. So if I look back at the last couple years of our life, we've got raising a child that's not our own, going through court battles to make sure she stays safe, getting through all of that, which is one of the most stressful things I've ever done in my life, and then my daughter going into heart failure. Like Just a lot of turmoil, a lot of unrest. Yeah. And so when things started slowing down and smoothing out, There's more breath now. Things are a little slower, a little safer. (laughs) You start to feel like, okay, like I don't know who I've been the last couple years. I look back and I go, I I don't recognize that person. And some things for the better. But there are areas, like even creativity, where a lot of what I was writing, a lot of what I was feeling was really based off everything that was around me. To be able to write about stuff that wasn't so dramatic was like, oh, this is refreshing, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. I'm starting to feel like I can be creative in a different sense now. I think the music kind of tells that story of creativity and starting to feel like I can do something different. Overall, the song is about healing and change. In a more, in a more. Okay, so this is one of those things. I knew I wanted to say something, a line, and then I wanted to say, I saw you in a photograph looking at me. And part of that is literal. I do have these photographs in my mind and physically. There's one specifically that is Rowan looking at me. Then I have another one of my wife looking at me like back when we were dating. And so these memories come to mind. And um, when you have a still image of something, it tells a whole other story, you know? Yeah. One specific picture is me in the hospital after Rowan had already gotten her heart transplant and she's getting a procedure done and... I'm in the full, they call it a bunny suit, you know. <laughs> so I'm ready to the walk, yeah, walk her down to the OR for a normal procedure. 
the way she's looking at me is like, oh, it's just what you want as a father for your daughter to be like in that scary of a place, you know, with those memories and all that stuff. But the way she's looking at me, it's like, oh, there's safety there. There's, you know, when I look at that picture, I'm just kind of enamored by it. So I started thinking about it and Googling. And then all of a sudden I was looking up enamored and En amore came up, which is like Italian for enamored or in love. Yeah. And I was like, that's that'd be kind of interesting to just literally say, you know, enamored or in love in a different language. Mm-hmm. And, and why not? You know, so it stuck. I remember when that happened, I was like, I wrote you, would this be really dumb? Yeah. And you were like, I kind of love it. It also sounds really good to sing. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm enunciating it correctly <laughs> or pronouncing it right, but it's, it's uh, en amore. I'll never forget the way you looked at me. Yeah, that's about that picture. I could never forget the way you looked at me. Freaking emotional. Lyrically and instrumentally, this song took a while to develop and it went through a lot of different variations. Yeah. Yeah. And I went back and started bringing in some more modern elements and different sounds yeah. and did this. I just thought that was interesting, that bass line, a whole different thing. And I kind of sheepishly sent you that. I thought, could this work? And you were like, oh, yeah, yeah, let me, let me play with that. No, so, so it was the same situation where you sent me that, and I was like, oh, my gosh, why didn't I think of that? That's incredible. It's so fun. <laughs> and I never would have. That is totally a Jared Atherton move right there. I never would have gone that direction, and you nailed it. Because it completely changed the feel of the song. It's like, oh, okay, this is something exciting. I'd love to be a fly on the wall when you're creating this stuff because I, that is genius. Okay, so that is the piano. <laughs> I took that and then tried to see how far out I could take that. I wanted sound design kind of sounds underneath and using the actual sound source keeps it linked somehow. That's through a really grimy tape machine and the cassette deck that I've been using a lot. Yeah. That stuff is throughout, especially on that chorus three instrumental. And then I created some strings that were hi-fi and then gave them a similar kind of treatment on that chorus three breakdown section. Yeah. That's also at the beginning of the alt version Mm -hmm. that kind of set up the vibe. To me, sonically, that is the equivalent of an old Polaroid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't eloquently explain that, except I hear that. And you visualize a Polaroid. Yeah, I think of an old black and white photo. That was kind of the visual part of, of that. What the heck is that? I'm so into it. That's the original piano. Just through that Yamaha sampler that I've got and all jacked up. You know what I'll do sometimes is run some background vocals through another aux channel and just start playing with delays and reverbs. Usually 99% of it is trash. But you do get some fun little segments that you can reverse or you can fade in that just give a section kind of like a swoosh, you know, just like, here's something coming. And then it, you know. Yeah, again, anchoring it with an organic element like the vocal. Yeah. It, it pairs really well. So it's not just some random other sound that you're trying to shoehorn into this. It's using the sound source itself and then just manipulating it. So it, it somehow stays threaded through there. There's a similarity. It's a lot going on. Yeah. It took me forever to figure out what the pattern of those toms should be because it's a weird time signature. (laughs) 
Yeah. That stuff helps. Oh, my gosh, dude. Shut up. You know how these things go. I, I had family from out of town that came and visited, and I think my boys were needing to get out the door to school. It was a busy morning and chaotic, and everybody's everywhere. And in the middle of all of that, I got this idea. Yeah, yeah. And I went in and made that within like 20 minutes. Like, be right there. You know, like everything. <laughs> just a minute. J- just give me a minute. And then I sent it to you, and you're like, I know exactly what to do with this. Yeah. That was a very last minute element hmm. after we'd finished the original version and we're doing the alt. We are suckers for the epic drop, you know, the big hit. I remember I was at the beach with my family and you sent me what you had worked up on that section. And it finally changed to the one chord. And I started giggling like an idiot, probably. (laughs) The whole song finally landed for me when I heard that. That's right. You called me and said you were kind of sheepish about it because we were kind of done with the song. And you're like, what if we put that all over the song? <laughs> yeah. What if we and put this I chord structure? I sort of timidly put it out there, and you were like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I really like the, just the two chords. It's a thing. You were pretty committed to it, and I was like, yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Let's try something different. Yeah, so I'm, we put I'm, that on intros and all that. But the verse is still just the two chords, and um, my idea was better. <laughs> About time. <laughs> <laughs> Photograph. Look at this photograph. (laughs) It's always funny, right?
Thanks for listening. We have a lot more of these episodes coming soon, so make sure to hit subscribe and follow. You can always find the latest information on the podcast and all of our new releases at wearechapters.com.